Welcome to the Health Ranger Report. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, your host here on naturalnews.com. They are running vaccination checkpoints in Pakistan. Yes, in this video that you're about to see here, we're gonna run it for you. This is from a news organization in Pakistan. They are running vaccine checkpoints, stopping all the vehicles and vaccinating the children by dropping the, this chemical concoction into their mouths and injecting the adults with vaccine syringes. Now, why are we showing you this video from Pakistan? Because this is what's coming for America. There's already a call for mandatory vaccination of everyone and jail time for those who refuse the vaccines. There's been a call for mandatory participation in vaccine experiments. Yeah, you're supposed to be a good little medical slave and just go along and participate in these vaccine trials even though it, they might kill you. It might give you seizures, it might make you paralyzed, it might put you into a coma, but you're supposed to participate. Why? To support the drug industry and their profits? It's unreal, to total insanity. Now look, the deal is that the vaccination industry is based on vaccination theory. That theory is complete mythology. It's total quackery. We've been able to, through our articles on naturalnews.com and elsewhere, we've shown that, that the very bedrock foundation of the vaccine industry is completely and utterly scientifically false. The entire vaccine propaganda system is completely unscientific. For example, we posted an article from a science journal that showed that you don't need antibodies to fight many viruses. So the idea that a vaccine can produce an antibody and that's, quote, immunity, completely false. We've published a course by John Rappaport, who's an outstanding investigative journalist. It's called Vaccines Armed and Dangerous. You can find that on webseed.com. It's an amazing audio course that just completely obliterates the entire foundation of the quackery of the vaccine industry. You've got to hear that course. It's really, really amazing. The point is, the vaccine industry is based on complete criminal fraud. And they, the game is up. I mean, people are waking up to it and rejecting vaccines. So what is their answer? Well, we will mandate you to take our vaccines. We'll have checkpoints on the highways. We'll force you to do it before you can get into a university. We'll force your kids to do it. This is the same scam that Rick Perry ran. He, when he announced that all teenagers in Texas have to be injected with HPV vaccines, it was a total hoax. There was no law, even though he said it was the law and his campaign manager had financial ties to Merck the very company profiting from the vaccinations. The whole thing is total corruption, total quackery, runaway criminality, and soon you're gonna see it expressed as roadside checkpoints right here in America. So take a look at this video from Pakistan, and as you watch it, keep it in your mind, this idea that this is coming soon to America if we don't stand up right now and reject vaccine quackery across the board. Take a look. It's a unique approach to eradicating a devastating disease. Health workers are stopping vehicles at this busy toll booth outside Islamabad, administering free polio vaccination drops to children under the age of five. A lot of families do travel on the highways and motorways, and they're very likely uh, to have uh, missed the polio teams in their areas. Last month, the Prime Minister, Yusuf Raza Ghilani, promised to eliminate new polio infections in Pakistan by the end of the year. But even some of his closest advisors aren't convinced. I will be very frank with you. Uh, in 2010, uh, Pakistan had 144 polio cases. And in 2011, we had 197. This year, we already have seven. Uh, so uh, the, the numbers don't uh, indicate uh, that we have been able to control the transmission yet. The Prime Minister's promise to eradicate polio by the end of the year may be ambitious, but efforts like this do help in eradicating this devastating disease. Awareness remains the biggest obstacle to eliminating the disease in Pakistan, but millions of children are still receiving the necessary vaccinations. Every child under the age of five is vaccinated, so that's about 33 million children four times a year. There's no tactic that's uh, not used to ensure we reach every child uh, under the age of five. But not every child is reached. The car was nine months old when he contracted the polio virus. 
Now four, it's clear how the disease has affected his face, but what's less apparent is the damage done to his limbs. As he gets older, he likely won't be able to walk properly. When he sees other children, he gets angry. He asks us, what happened to him? Why his mouth is bad? Why can't he play properly? Pakistan, Afghanistan and Nigeria are the only countries where the polio virus is still active. Just last month, neighboring India marked the first full year of no new cases of the disease. And while Pakistan is working hard at achieving the same goal, it still has a long way to go. Imtiaz Tayyab, Al Jazeera, Islam.